Good morning students. Uh, this is the first video of uh, module 5 uh, that deals with global ethical issues. Uh, <coughs> so in global uh, in the fifth module you will start with a topic called as MNCs and uh, here we are getting a clear picture of what exactly be the uh, ideas why we introduce MNCs to our country. So MNC stands for multinational company and there are several examples for MNC such as Unilever, Coca-Cola, KFC, Cadbury etc. And this uh, multinational company uh, is said to be as MNC due to the reason that it will be established in one country. We call it as home country of that MNC and uh, the operations of that company will be extended uh, to all other countries in order to increase the business. So such companies are said to be as MNC's companies. For example, uh, Hyundai is a company established in Korea, but it has plants uh, in Brazil, uh, North American countries, uh, Europe, then Australia and, and in India. So Hyundai stands for multinational company. <coughs> and MNC's can be also said to be as global enterprise, international enterprise, world enterprise, etc. And also transnational cooperation. So some examples for these MNC's are Coca-Cola, Hyundai, Unilever, uh, GM, then BMW etc. So advantages of multinational company when uh, they are uh, trying to establish a plant or trying to establish the power in our country. First thing is regarding employment generation and the second thing is automatic inflow of foreign capital. So when we know that uh, we have uh, uh, a company established in US and currently uh, the value of uh, one US dollar is nearly 80 rupees. So when they are trying to establish uh, 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 amount back to in India definitely there will be a rise or uh, automatically there will be a rise in foreign capital. Third point is regarding the use of ideal resources. So uh, th this is a company, they, uh, they will be having uh, a proper picture of uh, what are the things uh, they have to take and care or what are the things or resources locally available. So a person who are here may not be aware about such resources but a company uh, who are having a clear picture about such resources will use that resources. So trial, uh, it will help to increase the uh, financial benefit of a person who is staying here. Next thing is technical development. Usually they will establish new machinery uh, to our industry and there may be chances of automation also. Managerial development. So uh, they are having a skill set of people who are able to face any situations or any uh, difficulties they uh, difficulties such as uh, financial managerial etc so they, it will help to increase uh, the managerial development of a company next thing is that end of local monopolies because uh, 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 in earlier stage it was establishment of Marathi uh, in automobile sector later on we have establishment of Tata so uh, people are forced to buy this uh, they are considered as a monopoly of uh, automobile industry in 1970s etc but later on introduction of new and new companies or uh, giving permission to establish plant in uh, India makes the market more live and more products are being here international branded products are being here so like that uh, it will help to inc uh, de degrade the conditions of local monopoly and the next thing is regarding the improvement of standard of living so a person who uh, no, a country's uh, government are not permitting any foreign products uh, definitely the people who are staying here will have to use uh, the products which are assigned to us or which are forced to use us so the, the person who are having a one CR nearly a salary per month uh, if, it, if he is uh, forced to use a car which is uh, very cost, very low cost of nearly uh, five to four, five to three lakhs. Definitely, standard of living will be totally down. So this is uh, MNC's introduction will help to improve the standard of living. And also, uh, people working in MNC's uh, will have several skill set which may not be uh, known to a person who are here. So uh, by 
improving uh, the conditions of MNC, the people will be made available here. And the culture, their nature, their uh, obedience, uh, their skill set, etc., will be shared to uh, people over here. Next one is uh, the limitation of MNC from the viewpoint of host country. These are the limitations. First of all, danger for domestic countries. So it will be a big burden for the domestic industry because uh, they are locally depending upon the people who are going to buy their products. But if an international market will come, the people will think that the market is having a so much high standard comparatively to the domestic products. So they will uh, forcefully or not forcefully they will gradually move to the usage of products from international market so it will create a issue in domestic industry repatriation of profits so uh, more uh, products uh, help to uh, or it will create more competition in uh, customer side and thereby uh, the a monopoly stand of a company will be totally lost no benefit to the poor people means uh, automation uh, etc will uh, make a job loss and definitely the people may not be getting more jobs danger to the independence so which means uh, they are establishing the policies of their country uh, in uh, such uh, such working organization so they may, may not be aware about the trade unions uh, the strikes etc so it will help to uh, it will not help the people who are having uh, problems with that organization disregard of the national interest of the host country so uh, some uh, there are some situations that for example uh, you know you may you already aware about the Bhopal tragedy so uh, it was like uh, a releasing of ammonia gas plant or blow uh, it is it happened due to the breakage of ammonia plant and uh, actually it was the standard policy they are not familiar they are not aware about the standard policy or threat to the people who are uh, who are surrounding to their company so like that uh, the same mncs will be only focusing on their profit instead of uh, uh, dealing with the national interest careless exploitation of natural resources it is totally clear and selfish promotion so more dominating power will be provided uh, on uh, advertisement and the promotion of the products so we are we may we may, may not be able to spend that much money for promotion next topic is regarding environmental ethics uh, environmental ethics has been distilled into like uh, we have several types of ethics like business ethics environmental ethics human ethics etc so environmental ethics is more concerned with the environment and uh, and uh, it deals with the beliefs attitudes and moral perspective of how the people will look upon to the environment so there are two set, sets of uh, laws or two sets of views by the world on environmental ethics for this anthropocentric uh, worldview and the second one is ecocentric worldview uh, anthropocentric worldview is actually uh, giving more importance to the man and all uh, Anthropocentric worldview is actually giving more pride to the human being and human race is the ultimate power in the nature and uh, it was given a view that the resources available in nature are uh, are ready to be used for the humans and uh, they are not aware about the exploitation of the natural resources. Ecocentric worldview is actually uh, pro trying to provide a protection on the natural resources and it, it thereby uh, it will help to uh, create a more ecocentric uh, situation for the nature to grow properly. So uh, there are several uh, Greenpeace movement, uh, environmental movement, all these are associated with ecocentric worldview and it will uh, create a border or it will create a limitation for humans to be humans to exploit uh, the resources which are available naturally next thing is regarding business ethics business ethics uh, is something associated with the people who are dealing with business and uh, uh, here it, it is defined as uh, 
a system of moral principles and rules on the conduct applied to the business so uh, business ethics is actually when we do some business we have to focus on the rules and regulations which are written in business ethics the sources of business ethics is associated with three points which is religion culture and law and these are the list of importance of why we are dealing with business ethics uh, corresponds to the basic human needs so uh, business ethics means uh, we are doing a business and we are getting a profit and thereby it will help to have a better life for our family members so uh, this is one important second one is credibility in the public the persons who are dealing with business uh, will have uh, much more uh, value in public because uh, they are in a certain stage uh, they will be able to uh, acquire more uh, revenue than that person who are working in monthly basis so business people will have more attention in public credibility with the employees so it means that uh, business people will be like an open owner uh, or it can we can call it as a micro owner micro owner means uh, he may not be uh, having that much power as a mnc owner will own uh, but he has a credibility or he has a uh, confidence uh, that he is providing some job to uh, other people under him better decision making profitability and uh, protection of society these are some importance of business ethics now we will de deal with computer ethics so when a person who are in IT sector or who are dealing with computer he has so many power because of this efficiency of a computer nowadays uh, uh, most modern computers are associated with machine learning they have artificial intelligence also as a part of the activity so it will be considered as a new revolution of industry and uh, if you are not focusing on certain computer ethics definitely it will create an exploitation of human or it will be a threat to the society so this is what we call it as computer ethics and uh, these are the lists uh, we should not by the law of uh, computer ethics we should not do all such things first one is harm the people uh, interferes others work like uh, manipulations etc uh, no, it is not recommended to access others' files or others' data, and uh, it is not recommended to create any morphing activity, or you are not uh, made uh, give or you are not provided with the permission to access any software illegally, and uh, it is not recommended to access the intellectual property of other people next point is regarding uh, we are we are not supposed to write anything without uh, uh, identifying the threats it will create to the society and you have to make sure that your system usage should be beneficial for the society next thing is regarding the piracy which means that we are not supposed to access any files without their permission so these are some types of things uh, associated with computer I think that uh, that must not be done next thing is uh, regarding engineers as uh, managers so we will deal with the same uh, topic for in next video thanks all for watching